So this video is about your first year starting your farm. Um, I've been farming for five years. This is my first full year on an actual farm. Um, learned a lot. Um, man, there's so many topics to talk about actually. Um, I guess what I want to talk about mainly is things to think about first if you're really wanting to start a farm. Um, when we first got into it, when I first got into it, um, basically the deal was I was working in a restaurant and I made less than $30,000 a year. So, you know, and I live in San Diego and I lived in downtown. So basically my rent was all the money that I made. So I didn't really have any money to invest into a farm. Um, so what I did was I formed a business and I got a credit card. Um, I'm still paying off that credit card now and that was probably five years ago. So, um, yeah, basically when you start off your business, uh, especially if you're young and you don't have experience and you don't have, you know, a business plan and everything, um, you're basically going to have to do everything yourself and no one's really going to want to give you money because you haven't proved anything yet, which makes sense. Um, you know, why would someone give money to a kid that has an idea that they don't know if they're going to follow through with it and does, doesn't really have a plan. So one thing that I would consider first is doing as much re research as you can. Luckily at that time, I was doing research and I was looking at some of the best, uh, most profitable farms throughout the world, um, US and Canada really, mainly, well pretty much exclusively, but basically the top dollar, uh, you know, highest netting farms per square foot, that kind of thing. Um, so you really want to do your research first before you get into farming. Um, another part of research is going and actually figuring out what the prices are, what people are paying and what people want and who's buying. So for us, uh, we found a niche in the restaurants. I grew up in the restaurant industry. So I have, that's just the niche that I chose. It could be supermarkets. It could be to consumers. Um, it could be delivery, it could be a whole number of different things that your business could be, but you definitely want to do your research beforehand and not just like a week of research. This was like, you know, you need to take months and figure out your market. If you're a young person like me and you're trying to start a farm and you don't have any money because the reality is that the farm is, has a lot of infrastructure, a real farm has a lot of infrastructure. It's got a lot of upfront costs. It's got a lot of operational costs. And it's not necessarily that it's very expensive to run, but it's very expensive to set it up and make it profitable and get it so that your labor cost is down to the point where you can actually start making some money. Um, you know, then once you start getting into doing deliveries, depending on where you live, uh, you know, to get a lot of land, usually you have to be in a little bit more of like a rural area or, you know, at least suburban. Um, and a lot of times you're delivering to the urban areas. Um, so you, you want to kind of like consider all these things. And it's kind of hard when you're first starting out to really get a grasp on that. And that's okay. Um, but you just really want to make sure that this is something that you really want to do, basically. Because it's not your first few years, like, I'm not making much and um, basically that's because I'm reinvesting so much into the business there's constant costs that are coming up that need to be considered um, you know every new project that you take on on your farm to improve it there are a lot of costs with that and if you're not making a lot of money then it's hard to reinvest at the speed at which you really need to especially when you're trying to grow your business so those are some things really to consider. Um, another thing you need to really consider is do you really want to farm in general? Um, farming is a hard thing to do and um, it's a lot of times not that fun. Uh, it's like really hot and it's you know when things are 
uh, so busy during the summertime and you want to go do stuff, uh, you know, you're really tied to your farm, especially in the first few years when you don't have all the automations and things like that. So you really want to think about if being at a farm all the time is something that you really can do and if you really want to do it. Um, yeah, so that's that's definitely a consideration as well. Um, also, you need to think about if you really just want to farm or if you really want to have a business. That's another uh, really important thing to think about. There is basically farm work, field work, nursery work every day, which is, you know, at the farm, working with plants. But if you're starting your own business or maybe starting it with some friends, there's also the business aspect, which is um, you, ha you need to be, you need to do accounting. You need to uh, be constantly planning on a calendar. Uh, you need to be pr putting out um, content for marketing. You need to also be, you need basically an online, you know, products like, like, uh, you know, the best, the best way to farm would be to make a lot of money with online products and then your farm would be sort of your brand and you make enough money to pay someone you know a full-time wage to work on the farm and then you can have a, a bigger team because you're making a lot of money with your online sales um, that way it's just there's just less actual work uh, so when you're thinking about farming that's something that you're gonna want to think about like right off the bat I think is the best way to do it um, work less find ways to work less and make more money by doing less things you know because of the internet we have a huge opportunity to do that and you just have to think about what people want and what you know specifically in a little tiny niche uh you know how to how to sell products to those people because um you don't even have to think about it as selling you have to think about it as what do you want what do you need and then find the, that niche of people and then kind of just provide that thing. So that's really all, you know, that's, that's a really good way to, uh, have, um, you know, another income stream right off the bat, which I think is really important. Um, so yeah, those are kind of just some of the things to think about. I might make another video if I can think of like more things specifically. But yeah, this is this is just kind of, um, you know, even just like doing it now, I'm thinking about it and it's kind of making me evaluate everything. So that's good. Um, but yeah, if, if this video helped, I hope that you'll check out some more of them and uh, just know that I'm really trying to help other people that are farming like me and giving them tools that I didn't have and also just kind of starting a conversation. So that's a, 